Hi everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Milton. I don't know if you can see her and Herky is right beside me as well. And today the setting is a bit different because we are in Toronto and we're here for about a week so can't stop the filming. That's what we're filming in a bit of a different setting but today I wanted to talk about raw feedings and more specifically about our personal transition from previous food that we were eating which is a dehydrated raw and kibble to a fully raw diet for Herky and Milton. I know I did a video very recently about what Herky and Milton eat but to be honest it's been on the back of my head for years now to transition her again Milton into raw feeding even when I first had Herky it was a discussion an inner discussion at first that I was having with myself whether or not I should transition and just for various factors I decided to stay on the kibble the main reason why I didn't want to transition into raw was for convenience purposes. There's multiple factors too and many of you might be able to relate. I was under the impression that raw feeding would cost more. I was under the impression that it would be difficult to transition, that it would that it would be very hard on them because they would have a rough transition period or a detox period as some may call it. Um, I really thought that raw food was more expensive. I always thought that it would be a big hassle because it takes so much freezer space Honestly, I was deadly afraid of the detox transition period. I thought I was going to have an onslaught of diarrhea, that it was going to be horrible, that I was going to have to babysit the girls for like a week or two before they start getting normal again. So I just didn't want that to happen. For convenience purposes also, we travel a lot. Like right now we're outside and I didn't know what I would have done with the raw food. So with all that questioning and also like every time you, you feed them raw, you have to clean up all the surfaces and everything so I was like that is too much of a hassle let's just not do it so for all those reasons I thought I would just stay on the food that they had because everything seemed to be going very well but I kept reading more and more about raw food and how good they are for your dog there's so many good health benefits they're supposed to have better silkier shinier coats better digestive system, better immune system, overall health, everything would be better. You name it, it's supposed to be better. There's also supposed to be reduced tartar buildup on their teeth just because when they eat kibble, even if they say that it's like the highest quality of food possible, it is more processed than if you feed them raw. So with that processing, you change the nutrients and you change the food. There's also the big argument of the fact that they descend from the wolves, so therefore the biologically appropriate diet for them is raw meat, but that includes organs and bones as well. Of course, the best kind of raw food that you can give them is if you prepare it at home yourself, but I'm really not there yet. There's a lot of research that has to be done and preparation because you really need a certain percentage of meat, bones, and organs, and you want to change it up and you know, that's a whole other process. There's also a lot of uh, supplements that you can or have to add to their food, so I'm really not there yet. So what we did is get them on the pre-made patties for them to tr transition and I read so much about detoxing and like the transition period and how to transition. There's usually two methods. Either you go gradual with the food every day you increase the amount of raw food that they eat or you just don't feed them anything for 12 to 14 hours and then you start immediately on the raw. Let me tell you that I was wrong on every single point. I'm very happy to tell you that the way I transitioned them was gradual. So so if you remember from my previous video about what they eat, they actually eat four times a day because Milton, if she doesn't have constant food, she's going to have a tendency to vomit and she vomits like bile. So I think she processes food really fast and her metabolism is extremely quick. So if I don't feed her very often, then she will vomit. So what I did, the first meal that they had was pretty much all... 100% raw and then lunch was their regular food and then at dinner was raw so so these have been thawing overnight and I think they're pretty soft now and I'm gonna be mixing this with a bit of pure pumpkin puree just to ease the digestion um, I'm gonna start off with like one quarter of a patty each just to try them out and to see how they react and at lunch I'm gonna I don't know yet if I'm gonna do the rest of the patty or the regular kibble are you excited, miss? Where's the other miss? Hello, little miss. Hello. 
You girls are going to have to wear your snoods to eat this. Let mommy prepare. All right, so I scooped it up like this for both of them just to try out. And make sure you clean these really well after you've handled raw meat. Look at me talking like I know what I'm talking about. I think he just ate it all up in one, one gulp. Are you going to eat the pumpkin? Good girl. Yeah, eat the pumpkin. I know this. Look. You're going to love this. Herky's such a beast. You ate that so fast, honey. Mm -hmm. You ate that so fast. Nothing's still working on it. She's wagging her tail. Okay, so Herky has another little quarter. Easy, baby. Oh my god, Herky. Should be, look at this, nothing's still working on it. Why are you sitting? What's the matter with you? Hmm? Okay, I guess I'm gonna keep this for Milton for lunch. Maybe she'll want to eat it then. So this is lunchtime. Milton hasn't finished her raw from this morning. Uh, so I mixed it with a bit of her kibble and a bit of pumpkin. And she seems to be eating it a bit more. She's a bit of a picky eater today and it seems that she wants to be hand fed. So with a fork, it kind of works. This is very unproductive, Milton. Turkey's just waiting. <laughs> Good girl, Milton. Maybe she just doesn't like the bowls because I put it on the floor and it seems to work. Like, I know, maybe she decided no more bowls. I'm done eating in a bowl. I'm eating on the floor. Huh, Mimi? You want to eat on the floor? You're so funny. I alternated the food throughout the day like that and everything went so well. Let me tell you, I didn't have one glimpse of diarrhea, nothing. Everything was digested so well and they did super well except Milton. The first kind of food, kind of patty that we bought was chicken and cranberries. It's from the brand Femuseau and that's a local brand from Quebec and Milton just refused to eat it and I was so confused because they're like, this is supposed to be the best food for them and they're supposed to devour it. Of course, Herky never has an issue with food. She ate everything but Milton just refused to eat it and I kind of wanted to feed her with some kibble and even then she wasn't really interested in eating it and then I figured that it's because Milton does not like cranberries and then I thought it was so funny when I figured that out it was hilarious because we got another kind of raw which is 100% chicken and she ate that right up so I figured that Milton 
she knows and she can still smell the cranberries through that meat and she doesn't like it so she didn't like the cranberries so we kind of alternated Herky was on the chicken cranberry Milton was on the full chicken and now they're both on the full chicken formula and I'm telling you like I'm so happy everything is going so well they eat everything Milton is not picky with her food anymore she eats it right up all the time no vomiting no discomfort And what I'm most amazed about is the fact that their poops are now fewer. So instead of pooing three times a day, they now poo twice a day, which is an improvement. But their poops are so much smaller and so much harder. Like they're like pebbles of rocks, like they're super hard and they come out clean. There's no runniness, no nothing. And that just gives you an idea of the fact that they digest and retain everything. That's why they're, they're so little that comes out it's because they retain everything and that makes me so happy that they have healthy poops it makes me so 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 happy it's like good poops to pick up you know what i mean only dog parents will understand this but when you pick up poo and it's mushy and it's hard to pick up it's not really pleasant but this poo let me tell you like it's hard and it's good to pick up so it's all around amazing i love it so i also love the fact that milton now does not have any troubles to eat in the morning and for traveling that was another issue of mine i was wondering what i would do when i was traveling like right now we're not crossing any borders so there's no issues of transporting raw meat across the border that could get questioned we're traveling from montreal to toronto so what i did was i took some of the frozen meat to let it thaw and I brought that with me in an ice pack and so they have some food for the day but then when I ran out of that I just went to a pet store near here and we got some other food that is the same full chicken formula so they're usually on the fin museau but this time I got the big country raw which is what is available locally here in Ontario and they really like it it's bigger packets but they're all individually wrapped one pound packets so they still like it and it goes super well we have a little fridge in the hotel here and what I do is that I keep it a little cooler and all my meats are still frozen when I need to thaw something for them I just leave it out for a little bit and then when it really starts to thaw I put it back so that it's it gradually thaws in the refrigerator but honestly so far all the brands that I've tried I've tried a total of three or four brands I think <laughs> Sorry, there's hair everywhere. Um, and all of them seem like really clean. There's no bad odors or anything. You just have to get into the habit of like rinsing and cleaning their bowls after each meal, which I thought was going to be really a big hassle. But honestly, they eat this food in like five seconds. So after they're done, you just clean it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You just clean it whoosh, 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 and you put it back. It's super easy. It's super good. Anyways, overall, I'm just so, so, so happy about how this is going, honestly. And the food is really not that expensive. To touch on my other point, my other concern, I calculated about what they have to eat. And depending on the brand, it will cost Herky and Milton between $70 to $80 per month, both of them together, to eat. That's about like $1 per dog per day. Like that is really cheap. And what we were feeding them, our kibble, like it's pretty much a dehydrated raw. That cost us about $300 per three months. So that's like about the same price, I'm telling you. Like it's not expensive to feed them raw. So if you do it right, it can be a lot of health benefits. It's cost efficient. You have better poops. You have better health. Overall, everything is better. Your dogs are happy. One of the reasons also that I wanted to make the switch was it kept on the back of my mind that this is healthy for them. Like this is so good for them. And I just kept on thinking like, would it be healthy for us to eat like dry food all the time? No, we'd be so dehydrated constantly. And even if we encourage them drinking, sometimes it doesn't come naturally. But when they eat the raw meat, most of the water that they need they intake from that meat because it's already hydrated it's all full of water it's it's great for them so i love that i don't have to worry about herky being dehydrated like the desert anymore because not only did she eat dry food she would also not drink a lot of water so now everything's under control and i have to say that one of the reasons why i think our transition was kind of easy is maybe because the dehydrated raw is like the most similar to the raw patties so the transition might have been better i don't want to recommend you doing the full transition like i did maybe do it little by little steps at a time 
but I really do recommend that you do your own research and see for yourself if it would be beneficial and if it would work for you. I know that for some dogs it just would work because they have so much intolerances to food. I know my sister's dog is a vegetarian and our good friend Romeo as well is a vegetarian because they have intolerances. So honestly this doesn't work for everyone but overall I just wanted to say that I'm a big fan of the raw food and I think they are too. I know it's very frowned upon by certain vets and I know it's a really divided mentality about whether to feed raw or not. Personally it just makes sense to me that they're supposed to eat this kind of food. It just doesn't make sense to me anymore that they should eat dry food all the time. Like if it doesn't make sense for us to eat cereal three times a day every day then it doesn't make sense for them either. So that's just my personal opinion. If you have any questions, comments, anything, please leave them down below and we'll do our best to answer everything. If you would want more information, we could always do another video, answer more questions. Thank you so much for watching guys. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye!